I'm sorry? Are you guys having fun here? Yeah. yeah. So much fun. I love this I city. wish we shot here. I know. I love this place. I love it better what than LA. No offense, place? but <laughs> yeah. I just like it. No offense, East Coast. We prefer the West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jennifer, we kind of went over this yesterday. Yeah. You guys are a little bit older now since the first season, a little bit wiser. Selena, happy 16th birthday, Thank by the way. You. So how is the show kind of um, reflecting those kind of changes as you go on? Um, I think it reflects that and just the, what the characters are going through. And I think it really reflects, you know, and uh, their circumstances and how they change and sort of mature and, and, um, and you know, yeah, no, I think you see that our characters evolve, you know, we are starting to deal with issues more mature and more age, like, you know, Alex gets her first boyfriend, yeah. you kind of see what every girl goes through with the first date, and, you know, jitters, go having the first kiss, having a fight with, you know, someone that you like, it's, I think on that level is, is how our, our characters are slowly maturing. Yes, and, and Harper's getting a, a little bit more daring. <laughs> Especially with her wardrobe. Oh, yeah. I know that um, Alex tells Harper about her magical, you know, how her family is magical. So I, do you think that was a good idea to tell her best friend that? Definitely. I think it makes it made our characters stronger. I mean, we're strong personally, but I just mean like it kind of makes a person stronger when you when you're able to say, "I trust you. This is what I'm telling you." And and it's actually fun. It brings us closer, but it's yes. it, it brings a whole bunch of trouble too. So it's fun. <laughs> Do you think in real life you would tell like your best friend a big secret like oh, that? Oh, definitely. You know, there's only a few people, and Jennifer is one of those few people that I would tell things like that to. So. It's like it's one of my few people. <laughs> Let's have a Hallmark moment. <laughs> Who would you like to see guest star this season? I would like Demi. I would like Demi Lovato to guest star on our show. I really think it'd be cool to have like. Lisa Kudrow or somebody. Someone from our favorite show. Because we've yeah. been really blessed with having like a lot of really adult cool actors. Star. Yeah. But that's that's the thing that like I can't tell kids like uh, Fred Willard guest starred on our <laughs> show or Rachel Dratch from yeah. Saturday Night Live guest starred on our show. We can't really say that. Nick, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> so who do you think Demi would would play? I would want her to play uh, probably like an evil wizard or something, just because it would be fun to kind of fight with her. Oh yeah, like to just girlfriend or something. Yeah, it'd be fun. It would be cool. if, you, if you could have any magic power that any characters have on a show, or one in general, what magic power would you want to have? To freeze time. I don't remember how it goes, but it was... It cried. No, freeze time, not rewind. Oh, never mind. Shut up. Remember I had to hop on one foot or something? Oh yeah! And I froze time. Oh, oh that would have uh, been amazing. Guy Day Times Day. I can't believe I remember that. Guy Day Times Day. You could totally change the clothes of people you don't like or something. <laughs> I'd probably, if I could do any sort of magical like thing, I'd probably be invisible. I think that'd be so cool. Just to like mess with people when you're yeah, invisible. That'd be, awesome. that'd be so much fun. I want to hear about pranking because I had, I had heard from Jake T. Austin that he puts par he puts Parmesan cheese in the yeah. car. It's, so what do you girls do? <laughs> Actually, we don't. We, don't do, we love we, people. We try okay. to be nice. To yeah, people. we give people hugs and and, and little hearts. We don't try to make them look stupid. Okay. David took Jake's cell phone and texted a mass text to all of his friends something that should not have been said, and he got him back with the Parmesan cheese. And we just, we just stay out of yeah. We way. just sort of step to the side and, and just shake our heads. And go, you want to go to Crafty? Sure. Yes. That's, that's where we do. That's where we'll be. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, can you tell us about other projects, like Selena, your album, or? You got? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm working on my album later on this year. Um, I'm really excited because we're finally going to get that process started, and it's just been a while. So I think that that's going to be something really exciting for me. I'm going to also kind of take my fans through it, and they're going to experience it with me. So I'll be able to make videos from the first day I go into the studio to the last day I go into the studio. I mean, kind of having them go through the journey with me because it's going to be something that's going to be a big part of my life, and I'm really excited about it. Um, and then me and Demi, our movie, uh, Princess Protection Program will come out next year. We do a duet for that, for the movie, and hopefully we'll be able to perform that together one day, even if it were me opening up for her headline tour. That would be awesome. <laughs> but um, other than that, we have season two of Wizards of Waverly Place that we're pretty much focusing on as much as we can. Yeah, and I have coming up, um, I have, um, of course, season two of the show, and then I have an episode of Phineas and Ferb that's coming out where I play uh, they're Phineas and Ferb going to the future, and I play Candace's daughter. It's really cute. It's it's uh, and then I uh, have Dad and I have to wait.
which you can only hear my voice in it because I had it, I only did a day on it and um, and the scene ended up on the cutting room floor. But you can hear my voice and the movie itself is, is really great and uh, you'll have to tune into it. And other than that, just season two of Wizards. So. Okay, you know, we're going to have to wrap it up so if you want to clear up what you want to clear up. Yes. There is a song I wrote, <laughs> and I want to clear that rumor up. It is not about Nick Jonas. I haven't even known them that long when I wrote that song. So it's definitely not about him. It's about someone back home in Texas. So if you guys will release that tonight, that'd be great. <laughs> what song is it? It's called I'm Sorry, and it's it's a song that I said was closest to my heart, and they immediately thought that was someone else. So Yeah, I, I know who it's about. It's not Nick Jonas. <laughs> not Nick Jonas. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I wanted to do. Okay.